Are you an Aryan? This is how you would know the Nuremberg laws. Uh, Nuremberg um, laws uh, determine what kind of ancestry are you. The middle uh, two Mischling, uh, Mischlinge, uh, would be of uh, Aryans of mixed blood, and they were also to be dealt with in a very uh, uh, rough way. Eventually, many would be sent to the concentration camps, and in fact, all except for the uh, far left. Um, far left uh, uh, category of pure, I believe it says uh, Deutsche Blutiger, I think, somebody could correct me, but I know uh, the second two are Mischling, mixed, and then the last two are pure Jude, uh, a, a de um, derogatory term for Jews in German, and so this was the, the racial categorization, how you knew whether you were in or out. So, how do we get towards modern scientific calculated human destruction? By 1938, Kristallnacht, Night of Broken Glass, where synagogues and Jewish businesses were smashed and burned. And already when the war begins, Hitler says this, if the international finance Jewry inside and outside Europe should succeed in plunging the nations into a world war yet again, then the outcome will not be the victory of Jewry, but rather the annihilation of the Jewish race in Europe. So January of 1939, uh, he is promising this. And see who he thinks, he believes Jewish people are somehow provoking the war. Incredible. By September of 1939, ghettoization of about 1.5 million Polish Jews. So immediately after the invasion of Poland begins in German-occupied Poland. This is uh, the picture of Hitler uh, addressing the Reichstag. You see Goebbels, no, I'm sorry, Ge Hermann Goering uh, above him. Uh, who else is, that's all I can tell. May maybe Rudolf Hess is in the back there, but it doesn't look like it, but it's Hitler and uh, Goering. Already in the early, by January of 1940, they're experimenting with, uh, experimenting with poison gas against those deemed handicapped, uh, and the Woods ghetto was declared, uh, creating an enormous ghetto in Poland. By May of 1940, 5,000 Roma and Sinti are deported to Polish ghettos, and the uh, um, Auschwitz concentration camp is founded. So May of 1940, initially simply a camp, not a death camp yet. So by this point, June of 1940, the idea of genocide is not yet fully formed, but the idea of mass uh, uh, mass deportation to Madagascar seems to be the reigning idea of the day on how to solve the uh, Jewische uh, Frage, the Jewish question or the Jewish problem. But the problem is Britain holds out, so the sea lanes of mass deportation are closed, so they turn to uh, Poland uh, and they turn to the uh, area of, Pol of uh, occupied Poland to construct more and more uh, camps, uh, especially around the area of Auschwitz. In June of 1941, the invasion of the Soviet Union, you've already heard about that, called the War of Extermination. The war against France and Britain uh, was simply a war of conquest, but this was a racial war of extermination uh, of the superior Aryans against the Untermenschen, the, uh, the Slavish hordes. And what happens behind the lines are set up Einsatzgruppen, which are execution squads uh, to police and kill communists and Jews. Uh, and at one location in Babi Yar, um, uh, in September, uh, 33,000 Jews were shot outside of Minsk. Uh, is it Minsk? Yes. No. Kiev. Kiev. Including this girl, this is a, a 1936 photo of her. By 1941, she was eight. 
uh, and she was also shot there. This is the Woods Ghetto, very packed, uh, tightly packed area, uh, um, very low uh, rations were extremely low, and by this point, uh, all Jews in Poland, by about 1930, uh, 1940, all Jews in Poland had to uh, identify themselves with gold stars, and soon thereafter, the, the gold star was required of all Jews in Germany as well. And here is a map detailing some of the places where the Einsatzgruppen massacres were being conducted. At this point, something in the neighborhood of 500,000 Jews had been killed, possibly 300,000 others including um, Polish, Ukrainian, and uh, Belarusian uh, peasants. This includes Zhitomir, Kiev, Vitebsk, Smolensk, Poltava. Uh, this is where these armored uh, bands, the Einsatzgruppen, were operating between 41 and November 42. And this was all in occupied Soviet territory. This is, uh, I believe this photo is from Babi Yar, and it shows the Einsatzgruppen lining up um, Jews and other political prisoners for immediate execution. By this time, they were experimenting with gas trucks uh, using CO2 gas, uh, uh, well, C C1, so CO1, sorry, carbon monoxide uh, in the backs of these trucks as execution. They found that very inefficient uh, so that they developed and studied and used science, right? This was a very scientific genocide um, to develop more sophisticated techniques. This woman had just been assaulted on the streets uh, of Kiev by a Ukrainian, no, of Lvov, which is in the western Ukraine, by a Ukrainian mob. So the local Slavic populations were also uh, incited to many anti-Semitic pogroms and attacks. By September of 41, the experimental gassing of the elderly was being carried out at Auschwitz, and Jews in the Reich were required to wear the yellow star as an identification. The war, the continuing war, was being blamed on the Jews, Der Jude, uh, the first poster. Um, I think it's Kriegsanstifter and Kriegsverlangerer. So it's, it's basically the war inciters and the war uh, continuers. Uh, I, I, might, I might be translating it wrong. Basically those who started and continually provoke the war. And then the poster on the right, uh, it's kind of difficult to, to think, but the lion symbolizes Britain. Um, we have our Uncle Sam there, and then we have sort of a, a caricatured uh, Asiatic who symbolizes the Soviet Union, but they all come from the mouth of the Jew, of the eternal Jew. So you can see how uh, hate, anti-Semitism and hatred of the Jews is central to thinking and the war effort here, or at least the 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 ideological motivation. This is a war for either the extermination of the Jewish race and the life of the uh, German race or the destruction of the German race at the hands of Jews and Bolsheviks. <laughs> 